Hello, Trash Kickers. This is T Brown, Double 65. Welcome back to another discussion on this channel. Um, I've been wanting to make this video for a long time. It's just I haven't had motivation to do it. Um, another thing is that I'm not very good with articulation, so you're just going to have to bear with me. Um, this topic is about the modern elderly. Um, I have no respect for elders in this day and age because... They have been known for a uh, lack of consideration of younger generations' problems, okay? They don't understand the problems that they're going through, and what happens is they end up making ill-informed judgments, okay? Like, for example, if you're a college student and you're failing one of your classes, despite the fact that, you know, you're doing your homework, studying for tests, uh, using every resource that you can out there to help improve your grade in that class, but you're still failing nevertheless. Your instructor doesn't explain things well, never helps you when you need help, uh, gives you bullshit penalties uh, when it comes to grading you know, your test, so on and so forth. Okay, if you were to complain about that class to your parents, for example, they're going to say, well, you should have been studying even though you were studying, they're just going to make it out like you weren't, okay? When it comes to censorship, okay, we know that censorship is a problem when it comes to social media, and I've seen it happen again and again where people speak the truth that gets labeled as misinformation by big tech, okay? Like whether it would be, you know, your content gets labeled false by independent fact checkers known for getting information from uh, left wing uh, propagandist news outlets uh, to justify their actions all the way to having your content outright banned where, you know, you get a full strike on your account. Your account gets restricted, whether it be on Facebook, YouTube, so on and so forth basically trying to stop people from spreading the truth, okay? If you're to complain about it to your parents, you know, they're going to say, oh, well, you should have been more careful about what you put on social media. Oh, well, these platforms, they do a good job on keeping people safe. No, they fucking don't. They do not do a good job. When you, when you remove content that, like, if, if when it comes to someone speaking the truth, when you remove the truth that you don't like, that's not keeping people safe. That's harming people, okay? You're infringing upon their rights to express what the truth is. And when people express the truth, they're actually doing the right thing. They're not bad actors, but the elderly are going to make it like they're bad actors saying, oh, they're spreading harmful misinformation, so on and so forth. Um... You want to know what the problem is that they don't understand how corrupt these platforms are, okay? They don't understand the corruption that's going on, and and, and, and they try to normalize it, saying, um, oh, well, it's it's not corruption. They're, they're just trying to, you know, promote responsibility, um, you know, so on and so forth, basically trying to trying to push for more censorship. That's what they've been known for, Um and if let's say if they watch your videos and your video contains swearing, they're going to say, oh, how dare you swear in your videos? You need to delete those videos because I don't like the language that you used. Basically, they're going to they're going to try and stifle your they don't understand how the Internet works. They're 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 stupid people. And Department of Justice is no exception to believe it or not. OK, they don't, when it comes to elderly, they don't understand how the internet works and they end up making ill informed judgment. And some of them end up making ill informed decisions based on their judgments. Okay, like the Department of Justice I brought up earlier. Who do you think is behind the Department of Justice? Answer is the elderly. Okay, they're the people out there who don't understand how social media works. Um, they've uh, prosecuted people for you know the memes that they put on uh, people put on social media, where uh, where they like the the department doesn't understand how memes work. They don't understand that the memes are for entertainment purposes only. But the problem is they they treat the memes like they're actual threats, and, and people who post the memes end up getting falsely imprisoned, and they've had their appeals denied in court. Uh, when it comes to advice from elderly, I mean, the problem I have with elderly, 
Um, and, and what they'll do is and they're going to make excuses saying, oh, I'm just trying to help you, even though they're not trying to help you. They're trying to manipulate you when you when you infringe upon people's right to expression. OK, now, look, I am not talking about threats, OK, or anything that actually puts people in harm's way. I'm not advocating for that. OK, stuff like that should be curtailed. But when it comes to other things, however, like if you're just a person who wants to, you know, get the truth out there and let people know what the real problem is, people should have the right to express it. OK, and, and no one should have the right to interfere with that. It's that simple. OK, and when it comes to uh, advice from old people. I mean, I, I honestly don't think you should be taking advice from the elders at this point because chances are they're not going to help you. OK, you know, they're you know, they, they're just going to make your problems worse. Um, wouldn't say all old people are like that. OK, I'm not saying they're all like that, but at least several of them are. OK, they're inconsiderate of other people's problems They're inconsiderate of, you know, what's going on in the world, you know, so on and so forth. And they end up making some ill-informed judgments. And um, yeah, that's why I don't have respect for them. So anyways, um, you know, this is uh, T. Brown 65. If you liked what you saw, leave a like. Leave your thoughts in the comments section down below. Um, if you want to see more of my activities, make sure you subscribe. A uh, reminder that PayPal is in the description. So if you want to help out this channel, you know, there's PayPal, there's locals. If you want access to exclusive material, um, there's a number of ways you can go about supporting the show. Um, as always, uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you all again soon. Take care, buddy.